Welcome to our Google AdWords 102 tutorial. In part 4, we'll split test ads for effectiveness. In this video, we'll look at split testing ads. Split testing is simply running one advertisement against another to see which one performs best. Let's start with an example by going to the Antique Tables campaign. And let's go to the Antique Tables ad group. Now this ad group only has one ad. Note that in this case I've automatically gone to the Add Variations tab, and if the system doesn't take you there automatically, you simply click it. Again, I just have one ad in this group. Note that it says one of one. I don't know if there is a restriction, but I've seen ad groups where there are six ads or eight ads or even more. You certainly can have just one, as we do, or you can have two, so you can split test one against the other. In theory, each should run 50% of the time, and you can see clearly which is the winner, which is more effective. Or you can, if you want, split test multiple ads, four or six at a time, or whatever you wish. In this instance, I'll just add one more. OK, create an ad variation to test different messages. It suggested that when you do split testing, you just test certain elements. You can split test completely different ads if you wish, but there's something to be said for testing just the elements. For example, split test two ads, and the only difference is the headline. In this instance, Antique Table is our headline, and I'm going to change it to Looking for Antique, and it may not fit, Table. No, it's too long. Let's rephrase that to Want an Antique Table, keeping it singular, and we'll save that. So the only difference in our two ads is the headline. And here, if you click on View All, and the Add Variation tab, and it displays all the ads you're running. As we can see here, we have exactly the same body text on the two lines of copy, the display URL is identical, and the only difference is the headline. You can test anything. You can test different body copy, you can display different URLs, and then it's suggested that you run these slightly different ads for a little while and see which one performs best. But how do you decide which one performs best? As with anything statistical, you want to give it a decent amount of time, and it depends on how much traffic you're getting with your ads, how many people are seeing them, but as a very broad rule of thumb, you may choose the winner as the first ad to reach 20 or 25 or 35 clicks or whatever you wish. That may be how you determine which is the winning ad. Obviously, longer is better because it gives you more useful results, but you can leave it too long, too. You have to have a cutoff at some point so you know which ad has won. Then once you've found your better performer, you may want to delete the losing ad just by clicking and delete but I'm not going to do that now. I want to leave those two ads running for the time being. When you delete this first loser, of course you can add another advertisement or even multiple ads and keep on split testing. The winning ad at any time is what's known as the control. The control is your proven ad, and the name of the game is that you want to consistently try to beat the control. The reason for that is that by consistently trying to beat the control, you're working constantly to improve your click-through rate. And with Google AdWords, the higher your click-through rate, the more traffic you get, and more cheaply. So by raising your click-through rates more and more, by doing this split testing, you get more and more traffic, and each individual click costs you less and less. So that's the benefit. Importantly, with split testing, let's go to Campaign Summary and the Antique Tables campaign, select and edit settings. I've already mentioned this, 
but you want to make sure that your ads are split evenly so each one gets a fair viewing. You want to make sure that your ad serving setting is clicked on Rotate. Show ads more evenly. So that's how split testing works for Google AdWords. It can really help optimize your advertising campaign.